Welcome back everybody to Subnautica Below Zero. Now I'm going to do something a little different here in the beginning is I'm going to go ahead and make cuts to when I find the mobile vehicle bay fragments. I have looked up a, a very small brief guide on like areas to look for, um, but rather than wasting y'all's time with the details of of looking for them, I'm just going to go ahead and cut to each one. So hopefully this will just be a couple of frames for you guys and I'll catch you back in a second. Yes. Cool. Sea monkey nest. Okay, so we've got one. Oh, I got laser cutter. That's good. Looks like these nests are holding more than... Oh, it's the fish! No idea what that is, but I will take sulfur. Is that one? I think so. Yes. Hoping I can find the third one down here. It looks like the sea monkeys like to steal stuff for their nest, and then they will put it. They'll put it in their nest. This place is super cool. I'm also kind of terrified on finding my way out of here, but it's going to be cool. Oh, please tell me that's the last one I need. That's fun. I thought there was a second one following me. Maybe the first one blew up the second one. Okay. Come on. Yes. Okay, so we got all three pieces. Let's see if we can get out of here unscathed. I'll take that, why not? Cool. Oh, let's see you guys. Okay, we're just gonna head back for the pod. All right, so we made it back. We have the mobile vehicle bay fragments. I think it was just the three, I think. Should be able to make it now. Ah, yes. Okay, so I need lubricant, titanium ingot, and I need a computer chip. I need. Oh, I need another table coral. I need gold and I need copper wire. Oh. Of course. The lubricant won't be hard to find. That will be easy. I have the tit. I do have a titanium ingot because I found one, which is really handy to have. I could probably use to make a couple more batteries. I need some more copper. I only have one table coral. This is gonna be a bit of a journey here. So I will be right back when I get the materials needed to build a mobile vehicle bay. Okay, I believe I now have everything I need to make the mobile vehicle bay. I just need the computer chip, which I need to make Copper wire for first. I have gold in my in the storage over here. Take that out. And I have the titanium ingot that I'm gonna need. Computer ship, thank you. Yes. Oh, thank the lord. Now watch this take a million years to make the the sea truck. Goodness gracious. I don't even know what I need to make the sea truck. I gotta look at it. Let's see. Sea truck, sea truck, sea truck. Where's my sea truck? Oh, I did get uh, uh, the laser cutter, uh, one laser cutter fragment from a sea monkey nest. I'm, ass I'm assuming we'll probably have to find more of them. And power cell, another titanium ingot, glass, advanced wiring kit, lead. I always forget how much farming there is in the very beginning of these, of Subnautica. Okay, let's, of course it's turning night. I don't want to do that just yet. Let's see, I'm going to put him on five. I want to put it in some slightly deepish water. So that way it doesn't scream at me to try and move it, even though I know I can do that now. Um, I don't want to put it too far up. Maybe I'll just drop it right here. This looks deep enough, hopefully. 
Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Nice. Okay, so I can only make the, the sea truck right now. Ooh, I better get in. Okay. I can only make the sea truck right now. I don't actually remember all the supplies that I have for it. I'm gonna go ahead and scan this and pick that up because I'm gonna need the titanium to make an ingot. Nice. Okay. I think I have some of the ingredients that I'm gonna need for it. Oh, where's the pod? I'm probably just dumb. It's right here. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I think I have some of the ingredients I'm going to need. I need the ingot. Oh, I can make that already. Wonderful. Cool. Now I also need... I know I need an advanced wiring kit, so I need another computer chip. I'm glad I grabbed more table coral. I'm going to need some more copper, and I need a wiring kit. I can go ahead and make that, and I'm going to need a power cell, if I remember correctly, that's what it said, which means I need some more silicone rubber, which I think I still have one, which is lucky for me. I have two lead. I'm going to need one more of those. I have one gold. Oh, I have two gold, apparently. And I have one copper. I'm going to need another copper. Let's go ahead and make that. Hopefully it used my dead battery, but my luck, probably not. And the computer chip, and I need- I just need one more piece of copper. Let me throw this guy back on here. Will you look- Oh, my bad. What do I- Oh, yeah, that's right. It'll look for gel sack? That's crazy. Table coral, titanium. I just really want- Give me- just give me a limestone. Just give me a limestone. Make it real basic. Right up ahead. Nice. I'll take it. Can I hit it with that? I'm sure I can. It just kind of like it's kind of sucks that it doesn't have like a light on it or anything. I don't really need. I need copper. That's what I need. I think I need glass for something. I might as well pick up a couple pieces of quartz while I'm at it. Very nice. There it is. I feel like it's so hard for me to lose the pod because it's like underwater versus sitting on top of the water like the old one was. So I feel like I can lose it really easily. Okay, so I still need the lead, but I need to make the computer chip. Let me let me double check myself. Make sure I'm not making stuff that I don't need to make. Yes, I still need the advanced wiring kit and I need two pieces of glass. Okay. Copper wire to make the computer chip in order to make the advanced wiring kit. And then I can make two pieces of glass, and all I need is the lead. And I can go ahead and make this. I can't believe I had so much of the materials actually just chilling right here, which is great. One, two. I don't need you guys. I don't need the crystalline. I still need glass. Okay, so... I need a couple more pieces of quartz, and I need lead. Let's see. I wish there was a way for me to just, like, select rather than, like literally scrolling through all of it. Quartz. That's what I need. I need quartz. I need two quartz. And then I have to try my best to remember which one of these the lead comes out of. I think it's called something else because... No, maybe not. I don't know. You know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. This feels like a whole new game right now. Everybody just ignore me. I'm just going to swim around in the ocean, and we're going to have a great time. And I'm not going to die. Again. Maybe. We'll see. I probably will. <laughs> no quartz? Come on. Okay, well, we're, we're just going to eyeball it for a little bit. I don't need those. I don't think... This, does, this certainly doesn't have the lead in it. No. Okay. Let's go a little deeper. Let's see what we can't find. Because I certainly don't need any more titanium oxygen right now. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I really wish you would warn me when I have 30 seconds left. That would be nice, you know. If you, if you ever did that again. That'd be cool. I'd appreciate it. I wouldn't be mad. I feel the need to, like, call her, like, like, Gracia or something. Gracie. Nothing? Nothing in here? Beautiful. Awesome. I do not need limestone. 
I, I do not need sea glide either. Yeah, I think I want to call her Gracie. Like the voice. The voice. Oh, that's just ice. That like scared the garbage out of me. I did not know what that was. It looked like a giant skull or something. Kind of freaked me out a little bit. Okay. Are you it? You're, you just gave me titanium. Are you kidding me? I does it look like I need titanium, bro? Warning. Thirty seconds of now. You're gonna warn me for thirty seconds. I appreciate that, Gracia. Gracie. Maybe just Gracie. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. It's gonna stick. Something's gonna stick. I think I just want to call her Gracie. We'll see. We'll see how that feels the next time she screams at me for something. Well, that's a dark and scary hole. Means there's resources, right? Oh, that means that's that. There's a PDA! I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! Oh, did that fish not blow up at me? You suck. Okay, well, we're just gonna go for it. I want it. Ooh, oxygen. I'll take that. Okay, I need lead. I need lead. I need one lead. Can you give me one lead? One lead? Lead? No, I don't need table coral right now. I appreciate that. Quartz? I will take quartz. I need one more of those as well. Lead, yes. Okay, I need one more quartz. One more quartz, and we are in we are total action right now. We we can make this. Quartz, quartz. Anybody got quartz? Quartz? No? No quartz? That's cool. Uh, I don't wanna really wanna I don't wanna go that way right now. Quartz, 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 Warning. quartz, quartz. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Thank you, Gracie. Come on, come on. The weather here is so crazy. Like, I that's one thing I kind of wish that the original Subnautica had was weather. And now that I have it, I'm like, I both love it and I hate it at the same time. It's it like gets in the way and it's annoying and you have to like like live by it and but it's also awesome because that feels more realistic. It like it like throws you further into that immersion. I totally forgot that I'm supposed to be looking for quartz also because I was talking. This is fine. Come on, come on, give me the ha quartz. And like, I like the finder. I like this, but it feels so short range compared to like my eyes. Like if, if I'm like really looking for something and having a hard time, then I feel like that would be really good. But the fact that I have to like Oxygen. cycle through literally everything is kind of annoying. I wish I could just like pick what it is, like on like a, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want out of it, but it's it's good. It's just not something that I find I think I'll use often. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need a glass, right? I need glass. I need two pieces of glass. Okay. Two pieces of glass. Now, do I have everything? I think I do. I do. Let's make a sea truck. Now I have to remember where I put the mobile vehicle bay. Over here, right? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Please tell me that this is a deep enough water area for this. Alright. Give me a sea truck, please. It's so tiny. Look how cute it is. Look at it. It's so tiny! Okay, I dig it, I dig it. Okay. Alright. This feels good, this feels good. Alright, still, still get out the same way, alright. It has one... Two power cells? Do you have any built-in storage? I bet you don't. Do you? Okay. Okay. So we have the sea truck. This is good. Let me see what I've got here as far as inventory. I, I think I have plenty of food. I have a fair bit of water. I would like to have another battery before we go 
an adventure too terribly far. Because I know I'm going to need one for the sea glide. 100% I'm going to need one. So I'm going to quickly make another battery, and then we are going to go try and check out that signal. I'm also going to save after I make the battery and get inside the sea truck, so I don't... You know what? I need copper to make a battery, don't I? <sighs> well, give me just a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright. It's so cute looking. I, this doesn't make me feel safe at all, though. I'm gonna just gonna say, with the giant glass-like dome in front, like, I don't feel... This doesn't make me feel as safe as, like, the sea moth. I feel like... I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, right. I'm just gonna quickly save, really quick, so I don't lose all the progress. I made a couple extra batteries, and we are good to go. Okie dokie. I'll see you guys when we get a little closer into some scary territory. Unless something else interesting happens. Oof. Those things scare me. Are they supposed to be like killer whales, maybe? Or like, maybe like seals? They bother me either way. I, I want to try to kind of go around them if I can. Let's see if we can navigate through these vents here. Oh, sorry, peeper cousin. Those don't look friendly. Like, I don't want to hit the purple. Oh god, there's one right there. Uh, please just don't murder my sea truck. I just made this thing. Oh god, there's so many. There's so many of them. There's so many. My roommate in the background. I want to see it. No, no, I don't want to see it. I don't, I don't need to see that. I don't. She just wants to see me die to it. Oh, is this that, like, wreck? Oh god, that scared the bejesus out of me. Maybe I can explore this a little bit more before we go down and check out that signal. I don't know if there was another way in. I still don't have a laser cutter. I have to find more parts for that. This all sounds very bad and terrifying. I bet there's not really another way in right now. It's good to know I can find metal salvage over here, though. That's nice. I feel like this sea truck moves so slow. Those things sound so very, very close to me. And I'm so terrified to try to look behind me and see how close they are to me. I think we're just going to call this one a, a, a loss for the moment. I really need the laser cutter so I can get in the door that I did find for it. And I'm... What are you? Oh. They all sound so scary. I'm... Mm. Something tells me I'm not very ready to be over here in this area, but I'm doing it anyway. What are you? What are you? What are you? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Well, that doesn't sound good. Warning. Crossing 100 meters. Oxygen aquarium decreased. module fragment? Sea truck aquarium module fragment. What is that? What is that? What? What? What is that? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so terrified right now. I forgot I have a depth I have to, like, keep up with. It's so annoying. <laughs> I'm so used to playing, like, Subnautica with everything pretty much, like, maxed out. What is that? What is this? Oh, I know. I'm sorry, Gracie. I'm sorry. I'm doing things for science. 
Is there anything innately just gonna murder me right now? I'm just gonna save really quick before I die. Okay. We're gonna go down and we're gonna scan this, what looks like alien tech. We're just gonna do it. Can I scan this? I can't even scan it. That's beautiful. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Okay. Well, what does that mean? And where? And risen above? Is it talking about that? Oh god. Warning. 30 seconds I know. of oxygen remaining. Did that thing try to eat me? You jerk. I guess we'll try to go up. Is it talking about this? Is it talking about like this... This giant piece of floating rock? I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh god. Everything's trying to <laughs> it's all it's all kill it's all gonna kill me. It's all terrifying. I don't know what any of this is. These are just like lily pads. Can I get on top of these? This is probably really dumb, but I'm gonna try it. No? Can I not? No? Can I not? Can I not? I can't. Mature lily pad. I don't know what that means exactly. Wow. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Uh, okay. Every time I try to go above water, it's always dangerous weather with you, Gracie. Okay. Oh my god. Those things are terrifyingly beautiful. Okay. My question is, it was talking about there was a signal. I'm kind of getting a little disoriented. My apologies. Supposedly, that looks like a seahorse, maybe? I don't know. These things are so cool and unique on their own. I hate to try to go down, like, super, super far. Because I don't really know what's down here. And everything sounds terrifying. But it was saying that that was the, the crashed ship signal? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Oh my god. And I don't have a repair tool. I have got to be careful or I am going to die here. What is that? Okay. Warning. Passing 100 meters. I, I know. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Another module of something. There was something over here too. Okay. Okay, okay, so I got something for the sea truck apparently. I just don't I don't know what I'm looking for. Warning. I feel very thirty seconds of oxygen I know. remaining. I know, thank you, Gracie. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for, because that's the last known position of the pilot. The pilot of something? Of a, of a ship? Maybe I'm missing some lore here that I should have read up on. I gotta watch my crush depth. I need a crush depth module for this real bad. Oh, let me get to a little bit of a safer place. Whoa, okay, where... Oh my god. Everything is terrifying. Everything is terrifying. I'm almost fine with the things that want to, like, rush me. It's- I think the jellyfish are honestly scaring me more than anything. It's not that I have a- I don't have, like, a phobia or a fear of jellyfish, I would say. I, I'm not, like, terrified of them, but it's definitely one of the things I'm more scared of out of the ocean. I'm not really sure why. Out of our own ocean. Like, jellyfish just- they really creep me out. That just does not look friendly. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. 
I just want to get to some slightly safer territory because I think I have I have a PDA. I want to go back and I want to read the log of where I'm supposed to be looking for the signal for some reason. We're going to go to Delta Station. We're going to go to the dock over here. That was like a, a decent safe area. I think. Who knows at this point, but... Okay. Oh. Okay. Let me just drink some water really quick. I have... Okay. I don't know. The attachable sea truck module that collects live specimens from the external environment. But why would I need to do that? I mean, it sounds cool. But why do I need it? I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. Logs and communications news... The Independent Galactic News Intergalactic Perspective. Contact has been lost with the Aurora some 18 months into its journey to install a phase gate in the Arab Ariadne arm report inside sources. Altera launched the Aurora to much to much fun fair almost two years ago, and recently announced the ship had arrived in the destination solar system. The Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check-in. Asked for, asked for a comment, a spokesperson for Altera said, communication with ship outside of the phase gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances and is commonly interrupted. Inter interrupted yeah okay i thought it was my brain was trying to say interpreted the aurora has been in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in we have no reason to think anything has changed well hmm haha <laughs> never nonetheless our source sources emphasize the altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact and given the exceptional value of the ship and its mission they are taking every possible measure to re-establish contact shareholders will be watching closely Keen readers will remember, however, that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories like this to the press, only for the transgov to rebound with positive news ag against the odds. Directors, shareholders, and dealings are, of course, not public information. Well, ship didn't make it, guys. <laughs> okay, all we have is we have a potted plants. That's exactly what I need right now. Perfect. Sea truck and sea truck module that goes with it. It's just in a an aquarium, I think. Just it just holds live specimens, yeah. Vacuums on this module collect live specimens from the surrounding water and deposit them safely and hum humanely inside the glass tanks, which can then be accessed from inside the truck. Many years of technology and endeavor. A techno technological endeavor produced the pressure resistant single sheet nano reinforced glass of the tank. This remarkable feat of engineering creates the optimal enclosure for the study and observation of contained fauna. I just don't know why I need that yet. I don't see why that's pertinent. Let's see. News, Sam. That's the Omega Lab classified, but I don't I can't go down far enough to get that yet, which is the sad part. I need a laser cutter so I can get into the old ship. And I need a depth module so I can go even further down, otherwise I'm just swimming blindly and hoping for something. Now there are a couple of bases on land here and here that I probably should check out honestly. What is this one? I don't know that symbol. Is it just zero? Outpost zero? Xenobiological research. Maybe we'll go try to check that out in that area. I don't actually have like a marker for that, but why not, right? Because I can't go far enough quite yet to really do any good over there, I feel like. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe I'm like swimming around it in circles the whole time, but I feel like... I don't- I also don't have a repair tool yet, so I'm trying to do a ton of crazy maneuvers and- and damage to the sea truck because I can't repair it. I'm just gonna have to make a brand new one, which I would very much, very much prefer not to have to do if I can avoid it at all. So we're gonna try to hop back on land somewhere in this direction, I believe. Because, like I think I talked about a little bit, I'm pretty sure my pod landed, like, 
over here somewhere, I want to say. Which means that there's a research facility rather, rather close to where I landed, I think. I'm not really sure. Directions was never my, my strong suit in life. I can read a map, usually, but if I'm not, if I don't have like a pin to tell me, this is where you are, then I'm never going to get out of the building if there's a fire. Just saying. Let me take another look at it here. I really feel like we we landed somewhere over here. That's where the pod was. I think. Maybe not, though, because this all looks like lower ice. Maybe I can't jump on that either, though. Might just have to drive around the, the like, edge of the actual island. The large one. The landmass. I think, I, I keep calling it an island. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a large land... One of the largest landmass on this planet. And see what we can and can't find. I don't think I need it to drop off anything. No, I'm looking good. Okay. Because if I go this way, it's 500... It's 600 meters... Where did I go? It's 600 meters to this outpost. Oh, wait. What was this one? What was this one? Was this the cat? Is that Kappa? Guys, I went to college, but I was not part of a, any, any group, let alone anything that used Greek symbols. I think this is the cage that was flipped, or that was, like, destroyed in the middle, leading up to it, which means I'm, like over here or on this side guys I'm so lost I'm so lost right now okay so my pods here that's 600 meters that that way I say we go around this other side of the island and hopefully find something decent question mark let's see This looks promising. This looks promising. I don't know how that works exactly. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food. And drink some water. Heat up a little bit. And let's go. Let's see what we can find. Now, I don't know exactly where I found myself. But I feel like I found myself at one of the research places, maybe? Yeah, here we go. We got some buildings. This looks promising. Hey, let me get on this forklift. I promise I'm certified. Let me drive that. Nice. And we got daytime. Perfect. A snowman! Why would I want to destroy the snowman? I'm not going to destroy it. He's too cute. Can't destroy the snowman. Outpost zero. Okay. So. Outpost zero. I'm pretty sure that's what this is right here. It might be that. I'm not sure. I don't know those numerals or numbers in any way. Okay. Let's try to get inside. I'm getting kind of cold here. And then we can come back out. <gasps> Prawn suit. I need to get inside though. Come on. I need you to be a little more athletic for me. Please don't be freezing in here. Okay, good. You're a little warmer. Ion cube. We know what that is, but I'll scan it anyway while I'm in here. We'll take that. Fancy, right? What else did it say? I, I could scan something else, right? Didn't it say I could scan something else? Wow. I can scan the whole room? What? Okay. I can make this whole room? That's that that's big change. That is big change right there, everybody. From Subnautica 1. I can make a square room first off. Square. Hello. Second off. This is crazy. Let me get my flashlight going on in here. I can't see anything. PDA, take that. I'll take all the PDAs. Was she right? Could there be architects living on this planet? 
Altera really messed up if they got that one wrong. What'd she say? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, let's take a listen. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. Let me just ask you, in any science fiction alien movie ever made, ever, when has it been a good idea to bring back an extinct, an extinct alien civilization? In any way, when has that ever been a good idea? Hey Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. Of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta, anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so... That was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. That sounds sketchy. I don't trust her. Oh, potato. Oh, potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. I will definitely take a picture of a cat. If it was a dachshund, definitely. It, it, it would even be more mine. But I'll take a cat, too. Don't worry, guys. I haven't forgotten about the prawn suit out there. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. That's fine. Book me. Go for it. Can I turn on a light in here? Gosh, it's so dark. Can I scan this table? I can scan a window. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Here we go. Flashlight. What is this? Alien Intruder, a game of deception, alien, and paranoia? Oh, okay, so it's a game? Played by 6 to 15 people, one player acts as game master, or one player assumes the role of hive mind. The remaining players are scientists on a research mission. Total player 6 of scientists are recent alien intruders. Okay. I don't feel like I want to read a lot of this game data. It sounds really cool, but I don't have I don't have a whole lot of time for that. What? <gasps> Jukebox! I need that. That's gonna be detrimental to life. Is that not the right word? Detrimental. I'm Oh. If I don't have it, it will be detrimental. Let me put it I'll I'll say it like that. My roommate's English major over here fixing my, my grammar. What is this? Guide. Research Station Zero. Welcome to your home away from home on 4546B. This brochure will guide you through your new accommodations. Settle in. Sector Zero is comprised of two square kilometers of ocean bordered by mount mountainous terrain to the north and the west. 
This region of the planet is covered in snow and ice, left in a mostly permanent winter. Extreme weather events make the make for particular sky displays at all hours. For unknown reasons, it was selected by the architects as a hub for their installations. Installations. Life in this area has flourished since the release of Enzyme 42 into the large ecosystem. Get comfy! Research Station Zero features state-of-the-art facilities including a bunch of crap we don't need and do need. Explore! <laughs> you... You... Sorry, you, valued member of the Frost Pack, have been chosen to occupy the main sector base, just below the primary alien research site. From here, you will conduct research into alien communications and technologies, and conduct, conduct away missions to accompany installations elsewhere in the sector. Let's see, full science and engineering section, leisure and exercise facility, large grow room and water filtration unit for self-service living, weather forecast suit, prawn bay. Wow, it's better than most apartments these days. Hey, give me that. Is this just a fragment? Well, I only get one. Hey, no, I got it. Cool. It is so dark in here, like legit. That sounds good. Harvest, oil in progress, documents complete, research done. Why is it flashing lights? Multi-purpose room glass dome. I need to make a base. I will probably make a base before the next episode comes out. Just, again, I don't want to bore you guys with the very long, strenuous process of picking a location, making it out of scratch, collecting all the materials. I don't want to bore you guys with all that. But I, there are so many cool base building things in this. Can I open that? I would love to open this. No? Um, I, I don't think I have a lot of inventory room. I'll take two, just in case. I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to find space for it with all the posters that I'm picking up right now. Quarters? Oh, I thought it was like a cutscene or something. I was like, what happened? They just took my flashlight away so I could open a door. Was this Sam's space? Hey! Doing all the way out here? Seaster! Samantha! Science, robotics, reports to Emmanuel, current project, maintenance, previous project, spy pangling development. Why is she in maintenance? That sounds like a punishment. Dr. Lily, Lillian. Also maintenance, archetype intelligence. Xenobiologist, scientist. These, this sounds like punishment for these ladies. They sound way too smart to be doing maintenance. I mean, that's not to say no that you know good scientists don't do maintenance, but like, I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist. I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. <laughs> I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. That's me. Maybe I deserve better than this. I'm Robin. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Pengling research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, what? When they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, I can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> Alright. 
Now's my time. I've got this. First off, I just want to point out, did she say Leviathan? One. And second, I mean, we all know she's dead, but man, I wish she wasn't. She sounds so cool. I'm not even going to lie. It sounds so sad. I hate it. Potato. You are a good cat. Did she create a, an augmented arm for the cat also? Can I just say, what a cool sister. She made a prosthetic for the cat. That's really chill. What books she reading? I can't, okay, I can't jump on a bed. Okay. Nope. Ooh, can I get your, yeah. I want my sister's research. Give it. What kind of lame stuff do you have? You have an alien picture? Give me that. Ah, <laughs> uh, my darlings, Brian, Svea, and Oren, I'm counting the days until I can come home and give you all the hugs and kisses. Since my research project was cancelled, they have me at a place called Outpost Zero doing nothing much. Just cataloguing things, plants, the occasional animal, but it's mostly ice where I am, so there's not a lot of new stuff to find. Svea and Oren. You know how you get bored when your hover dance teacher makes you practice skills 15 minutes over schedule and it eats up your freestyle time? It's a bit like that. But I have a new roommate, Samantha, a roboticist. You should see her little bangling box. Oren, you'd love them. But she got management upset. I guess this is just where they send you if they decide you're too much trouble. I'm kind of glad she's here, though. I was getting lonely. I'm still trying quietly. I don't want any more trouble to figure out where I went wrong. I was sure. I picked up a distress signal. I, I was right on top of it, and then it just... stopped. What if someone, an architect, is still down there and, and needs help? I'll be home before I ever get to find out, and it will fall to some future researcher to come and find out, I guess. I, I hope. But oh, I can't wait to be home with you. When are you going to send me some more art? There's still a patch of bare wall here that could use some color and a touch of genius. I miss you. I love you. I hope you're still proud of me. I'm proud of you. She sounds like a cool mom, but I still feel somewhere in my gut that tells me not to trust her. Question mark? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I can't scan her bed. It's just a regular bed. Can I not take your kids' photos? I mean, I guess they'd be kind of wrong, right? Ugh. Stuck on everything. Okay. Everything's covered nice. I really hope everybody got out of here, and this is just, like, what's left. I almost completely missed the water filtration machine. Are you kidding me? Everybody, I'm so sorry. This is, like, 1 o'clock in the morning right now. I'm actually not that tired because I work nights, so this is normal for me, but somehow I, my brain is freezing with the ice that surrounds me. Okay, and then we have more quarters that is destroyed. Cool. I guess let's try to head out. We still have the- we have to get the prawn suit, which is out there. Which I'm very excited about. Now I get a sea glide? Why would I- why on earth would I now, right now, need a sea glide? Thanks, but no thanks. I don't think I need the flashlight right now. Okay. Give me the prawn suit. Give it all to me. I want it all right now. I can't believe I- I'm one of four. Oh, come on. I was just about to say, I can't believe they're giving it to me quite this early. Can I not scan the, the arms anymore? I have to scan the actual suit. I always thought that would make more sense, but lame. <laughs> Boo. Okay, so I got two. That's not bad. That's not a bad start. I will take that. Ooh. I need to get inside. If you could be a little more athletic for me. Thank you. Oof. I guess I'll make sure that there's nothing I just missed. Ah, rubbing my hands together. I wonder what that noise was. I really wish they'd give me, like, plans for a suit. That's what I really need. 
I need to not freeze to death. Your temperature is fine. Just breathe. You've got this. I can't scan that. Huh. I was just trying to see if there was anywhere else I could go. Or anything else to scan. Did I miss any PDAs? I don't think I did. I guess I should try to get back to the sea truck. Oh! Oh my gosh! In front of my face! How did I not see that? I'm sorry for everyone that just screamed at me multiple times that I was missing that. What is- what even is that? What, what is the control room? My roommate's asking me if that's the weather room and I didn't even know there was a weather room. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what that is? Operational hub for observ observing and manning habitat power, structural integrity, and aesthetic design? What? I can build a snowman? Can I? Oh, you know what? I bet if I destroy the snowman, I can take his stuff. Um, sorry? Robin, we're gonna have to talk, okay? Oh, please, yes, I need a habitat builder. Do I just have that now? Please tell me I just have that now. Is that in my tools? Where is it? Thank you, Lord Jesus. I needed that. And I just have the bioreactor now? Ugh. Okay. As much as I don't want to destroy this snowman, it is unfortunately necessary. Is it not necessary? He just disappeared? What if I wanted the rebreather? No, just drop that. I don't need snow. Are you kidding me? But I wanted the rebreather. Oh, she's cold. I mean, I get it. It is snowing, so I can imagine it is a little chilly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I still have a little bit of exploring to do before I leave this place. I want to make sure that I get everything. If the snowman is made out of a rebreather and an O2 tank, then why on earth, if I destroy it, do I not get those resources? I, I feel like I have a bone to pick. I feel like that makes no sense and I should have gotten... <laughs> I feel like I should have gotten a, a rebreather and an O2 tank out of that. I mean, I guess I don't absolutely need the O2 tank. I have one now, but... What is all of this over here for? What's the giant platform? I don't see anything super fun. Nothing, nothing. I'm trying to be a little fast because my temperature is dropping pretty quick in this area. I know, you're cold, I'm sorry. Thank you. Just don't cook me, okay? I'm just waiting for the moment that I get really scary land pe things and that try to murder me. It's not going to be fun. I don't look forward to it. Dangerous weather approaching. <sighs> Seek shelter. Will that, like, hurt me? And how is that going through the floor? That doesn't make sense to me. Probably a probably bug. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Totally fine. Okay. Anything good for me? Will this make coffee? Why are you here if you won't make coffee for me? Ooh, 
burns me. <laughs> There's not even a pedestal. I, I bet I have to come at it from the other side. This makes no sense. There's not even a place for the ion cube. There's not a place for the key. Huh. Would it go in the wall? No? That's so cool. I love I love that we get to find more alien tech. That's so amazing. Okay, let's ice stalagmite. Freezing temperatures. This is possibly thanks to the antifreeze agents secreting by the bacterium, which keeps the cell's environment, the cell environment in liquid state, and prevents destruct destructive ice crystals formation from within. So it's liquid on the inside. Huh. Okay. What is this trying to tell me here? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Huh. It doesn't look good either way. Either way, this does not look like good news for us. Can I scan you? Okay. Not scanning a lot of the alien stuff. That's cool. That's fine. Wow, that weather was over, like, super fast, too. Okay. We're gonna try to make it back to the sea truck. I think I've gone kind of gone through everything that I can here. Hopefully I've scanned everything and I've found what I can. If I've missed anything of great importance, please don't hesitate to scream it at me in the comment section because I am am very clueless at times and will absolutely miss something that's right in front of me. There there's no shame in screaming at me. I'm I'm letting you. So please do it. <laughs> Let's see. I just want to make sure there's nothing down here. I don't think there is. Falls through ice. Dies. Never finds out what happens. Just kidding. Just kidding. Dangerous weather approaching. Of course. Seek shelter. There's always dangerous weather approaching. Come on. There we go. Okay. I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but geez, it's practically off the map. Who names an inhabitable place Outpost Zero? Sounds like a prison. Most people would jump at the opportunity to get paid and sit and do nothing. Not Sam. She was always ready to work and always looking to make things better. I can't believe Altera cut her down while she was just getting started. And they have the nerve to call her negligent? I think they drove her to an extreme. What did they want Sam to do out there? Fix faulty wiring kits and, I don't know, write poetry to pass the time? Nothing wrong with poetry, but they hired her to do what she was best at, build robots. She must have been miserable out here. For sure. I, I guarantee I would have been, I would have been fine in anything and everything to fill my time. All right. Unfortunately, this is all the time I've got right now. What? This is all the time I have for this video, unfortunately. I feel like we made a lot of progress. We found out a lot of information. Uh, I'm really excited to build some habitat stuff. I don't really know how some of this works. I'm going to have to play around with it. Prawn suit. Man, I want that prawn suit so bad. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. I thought I was going crazy. I was like, what? <laughs> no, we're good. Okay. So thank you, everybody, so much for joining me on this adventure that we we were able to go. I, I think that that signal that is out there from the pilot is the one that Dr. Lillian was talking about that she found but couldn't find, like, where it was coming from, maybe. So that'll be interesting. I want to get a depth module for the, for the sea truck, which I don't know when that's going to happen. That's probably going to be quite further down the road. We have to actually check out the other facilities first, which 
is what we will do in the next video. So thank you again, everybody, so much for joining me on this adventure. And I will check you guys out in the next video. If you have any suggestions, if you have any comments or things that I've missed and you want to help out, please put that in the comments below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.